Great Britain's northernmost outpost in the late low sun of autumn. The Shetland Islands have a raw, extraordinary beauty. But it's diesel oil that burns in the power station that keeps the light switched on in the main town of Lerick and beyond. And the world's dependence on fossil fuels, highlighted by the presence of the Sullen Vaux terminal, which handles production from the North Sea oil fields. But now renewables are making inroads, and not just wind power. The Northern Isles are where the Atlantic Ocean and the North Sea converge. They're surrounded by this immense force of nature, where the waves and the tides and the currents are constantly at work. And how best to tap into that energy has become something of a space race for marine scientists and engineers. Blue Mull Sound, its serenity, doesn't give much away, but it's what lies beneath. The world's first array or set of tidal turbines generating power for the islanders. Two turbines are in place on the seabed, three more are being worked on, ready for deployment. It is still at an experimental stage, but there are high hopes. Our project is very low level, it's almost below the radar, it's light touch and there's very little to see after deployment. So I think that, that's uh, appealing in a lot of ways, not just the type of power that we're generating, but actually the impact of it or the lack of impact of it. A hundred miles to the southwest lie the Orkney Islands and a centre of world research into tide and wave energy. Here there's evidence of past trials run by different companies. This area of Orkney's coastline is specifically designated to test wave energy, a means of making electricity not from the flow of tides, but from the motion of waves. The European Marine Energy Centre is essentially a plug and play facility for wave and tidal energy technologies. So we have the infrastructure here, subsea cables and a substation, which enable technologies to connect up to the grid so that they can test in real sea conditions. Here's another approach to tidal energy, turbines placed not on the seabed, but on the surface. You have to try, try different things and I mean not, not every company has made it through but we, we uh, behind us here now have the, um, the most powerful tidal turbine in the world. It's, it's rated at, um, at 2 megawatts on a, on a typical year that's enough to generate uh, enough electricity for, for a thousand uh, UK homes so we feel like we're, we're, we're almost there. By its nature, harnessing power from the oceans is an enormous and expensive challenge. But the race is on to find a solution that could make a vital contribution to the world's renewable energy mix. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, the Northern Isles of Great Britain.